Today, we are going to discuss missing add-ins. If I gave you the equation two plus one, the sum would be the unknown. We do not know what two plus one is. So, we are going to use our cars tracks. I have one car on this side and two cars on the other side. When we race them down the tracks and they crash into each other, we will get our total sum to find the unknown number. Plus two add-ins. So our total sum is three. Two plus one is three. And now we know the unknown. But what if the unknown is in a different position than the sum? What do we do? In this equation, we have the unknown as the first add-in. What plus two equals five? Hmm, we know that one of the add-ins is two. We have two cars. The other addend is unknown, but we do know our total, our sum is five. So if we wanted five cars at the bottom of our ramp and we had two cars on this ramp, how many cars would need to be on the other ramp in order to equal five cars at the bottom? Two plus what is five? Two plus three is five. One, two, three, four, five. Our unknown number is three. Three plus two equals five. Let's try another equation. Let's look at this equation. Four plus unknown equals nine. So we know the sum. The total number of cars at the bottom of our triangle is nine. One of our add-ins is four and the other add-end is unknown. What could we do to solve this problem? Well, four plus what equals nine? We could also use subtraction to help us solve this problem. Nine minus four equals what? So if we took all nine cars and we took four of them away to represent one of the add-ins, we would find out what is left. One, two, three, four, five. There are five cars left. So this add-in must be five. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Our total is nine. So four plus five equals nine. And nine minus four equals five. 